He said it and he did it. Eric Young, the pride of Florence, Ontario, Canada, is the new Impact Wrestling World Champion. That's how you make an impact quickly since returning to the promised land in July. Thank you, EY. Champ, how does it feel being the new champion? Yeah, the pride, the pride of Florence, Ontario, Canada, a population of 60 people, so it's not super difficult to be the pride. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, dude, it's, it, it's unbelievable. It, it's such a cool position to be in. And the big word for me right now is, is justification. You know, it, it just it feels so good uh, for the heart, for the soul, for the mind. Um, I love pro wrestling and being allowed to do it at a high level again is, is, is what I crave. Well, you mentioned the small, tiny town. I'm just wondering, too, does this make you the most famous person from Florence, Ontario, Canada? I, I don't believe that's arguable in any way, shape, or form. Um, I, I, if there's anyone that's more famous than me, then I said it must have been from a long, long time ago. But yeah, I would easily be the most famous person from Florence, Ontario, population 60 people. Are we talking statue, parade, the works? I mean, I think if, I, if my heart desires those things, I can mandate it as the champion. I can just, I can force my will now. That is awesome. Hey, Eric, this makes you a two-time TNA World Champ. Am I correct there? That's correct, yeah. Or is there a difference in Eric Young, champ who beat Magnus, to this Eric Young? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a, there's a huge difference. You know, that was uh, the beginning of, for me, was the beginning of, of putting my flag in the wrestling world and saying, like, look, like, Eric Young is a main event talent. Eric Young is a world champion. Um, so the first time was a massive deal for me. You know, it was a huge step up from where I, I was or where I was considered to be. Um, you know, this is, like I said, it, it just feels like justification. You know, it's, um, it's no slight on anyone there. It's definitely no slight on Eddie Edwards, who is, is one of the best guys I've ever shared a ring with. And I can't wait to do it again. But Eric Young, world heavyweight champion, I mean, I got to admit, that sounds like it was meant to be. It is meant to be. And you mentioned Eddie Edwards. What was it like getting in the ring with him? Have you been in the ring with him before? And just with all the stipulation, the title, championship on the line, you coming back, what was it like getting in there with him? Yeah, I mean, Eddie and me, we, we crossed paths a couple times in some, like, you know, eight-man tags and a, a few tag matches and stuff. But we had never, you know, been given time. We'd never had worked singles before. He was in a tag team with Davey Richards at the time. Um, I was doing the world-class maniac thing. So um, coming back and him being, you know, him winning the belt at Slammiversary and, and saying he wants to give stability to, to the company and, and he wants to be a fighting champion. And the story, it writes itself. I mean, it's a, it's a very cool story. Uh, pro wrestling is, to me, like, story is what drives the bus. Because, um, and, you know, in matches and promos and, you know, and all those kind of things, those are tools used to build the story. And me and Eddie had, you know, had all of the history, had, you know, even just the, the short history coming from Slammiversary and being in the ring together. Um, and, and just being two characters that are very similar in some ways and very different in others. So I, I just, it was just this cool opportunity. And I, I feel like we really delivered. And I can't wait to do it again. Yeah, awesome match. Awesome conclusion. Really good story. Is that what Scott Demore is about, storytelling? Yeah, I feel like that's what Impact Wrestling is about. You know, storytelling, um, uh, I've said this in other interviews, and I, I'll say it again, is I believe Impact Wrestling, as far as a pro wrestling product, it is the strongest in North America right now. It, we're making a product for pro wrestling fans, because that's who watches the show. So... You know, pro wrestling it is a form of art. It, you know, it is obviously art is subjective and what one person likes and another person don't like. So it's, you know, it's all subjective. But I feel there's so many different flavors from Impact, uh, top to bottom. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a roster that's filled with potential and that potential is starting to be realized. That's why, you know, Impact is growing. It's, it's, it's the only pro wrestling company right now that's growing in the world. You know, it's, it's, with a global pandemic, there's, you know, p people aren't allowed at shows. You know, traveling is, is, is ultra difficult. So it, it's really cool to be part.
that sky is the limit and the top of the mountain is now Impact Wrestling World Champion Eric Young, EY. And you can see Impact Wrestling, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesdays on Axis TV. Great product, great show, great matches, storylines, angles. Hey, Eric, what did you do before the big match? Like that match. Quiet time, music, exercise, shaving? Yeah, no, no shaving. Shaving was done before I make it to the building. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, warming up, and, uh, getting in a, in, a, in, a, in a certain state of mind. Uh, you know, obviously being in a position like that, you're being pulled in a bunch of different directions during the day. And uh, there's all kinds of obligations for you to do and stuff. But what you're concentrating on is that match that night. Because in the end, the, the people that pay your bills and watch your show and consume your product, that's what, the, that's what they care about. They don't care about all the other stuff. So um, being a world champion is a massive responsibility. And it's a responsibility that I take deathly serious. Like, I'm deadly serious about being the world champion. And that's going to show in my effort. That's going to show in the product. That's going to show in my promos and my matches and my, my interviews. Everything I do is designed to, to help impact and in turn help myself. It, I mean, you're, you're going to see the best version of Eric Young that you've ever seen. You are professional wrestling's professional wrestler. What, Absolutely. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. What do you think? And I know you touched on impact wrestling and everything, but when you came back and you see the roster that's there, and the product they're putting out. Some of the talent, who do you see as some of the, there's a lot of good talent there, but some of the talent that you could mention and also that might be challenging for your title. Yeah, I mean, it's a long list. You mean guys that, that were there to, to help this, this company, company survive and thrive, Sammy Callahan, uh, Moose, I mean, someone like Rhino, like Rob Van Dam, younger guys, like the list is, I mean, as long as my arm, Ace, Ace Austin, uh, Trey, uh, the other guys, the, the, the Rascals, you know, like it, it, it's just such a massive list of of potential, um, and potential is what it is. I mean, you know, the potential is there. The Impact created this huge buzz for Slam Anniversary, and and Impact delivered. You know, so creating a buzz is one thing, but but delivering on it is another thing altogether. So now it's just about taking that limitless potential, literally. The, this locker room, limitless potential, but now we've got to deliver. You know, now now is the time to dig in, uh, to, to grow this company, to grow our individual brands, to grow Impact Wrestling into what I know that it can be. And that's that's a household name, and that's not going to happen overnight. That's, you know, it, it, that may be, I may be retired by the time that happens for Impact, but right now, like, that's my goal. My goal is to make this, uh, if you're a pro wrestling fan, you know about it, you like it, and you consume it. That's the goal. Hey, Eric, you mentioned about retirement and things like that. Do you think about things like that? I mean, if you're a phys, I know you guys take a beating on your bodies, but wrestling age, it seems like you still have some shelf life left here. Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, retirement is, I mean, it's inevitable. You I mean, like, this is just something that you can't do forever. And the, the reality is, is I've already been doing it for you know, 20, 22 years. You know, it, I've been doing it full time as a job for almost 17 years. So, you know, the end of the line is coming. I can tell you that it's not coming anytime soon. Um, I'm in as good a shape now as I've ever been. Um, I've always said, and, and this is something that I will stick to to the day I retire, is if I can't do it at a high level, then I'm not going to do it. And I can still do it at a high level. I proved it against Eddie. I'll prove it again against whoever wants uh, a shot. I'll prove it against Rich Swan. I'll prove it at Bound for Glory. I'll, I'll, I'll prove it over and over. This is something that, I mean, as a competitor, as a performer, you want, all I ask for is the opportunity to prove I can do it. I've done that. I've done it over and over and over for 22 plus years, and I'm going to continue to do it. Um, retirement will come. But it's not coming anytime soon. You've been able to do other projects outside of professional wrestling. I want to mention Bound for Glory will be October 24th. One of the biggest shows of the year, Impact Wrestling. Awesome job. I wanted to know, because your first foray with Impact Wrestling, 12-year run, Grand Slam champion, and more, 
Eventually, you end up with WWE on NXT, Sanity. Did you ever lose your confidence or your drive while in NXT or later on on the main roster? I mean, confidence, no. You know, um, you know anybody that, if there's anybody listening to this or reads this or whatever, and they, they think that me being in the position that I was on the main roster has anything to do with my ability, then you're confused. You're confused and you don't understand how it works. I was in that position because one person decided that's the position that I should be in. You know, I, I never changed. I mean, I'm the same performer that I was before. I was just never given an opportunity to deliver. Anytime I've been given an opportunity to deliver, I've done it, and I've done it with spades. So um, I've never lost confidence. Drive, I mean, it's hard to be motivated when you're not doing anything. You know, like, money is great, and, and working for the WWE is, 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 was a dream come true. My, my time in NXT, I will cherish to the day I die. Uh, still friends with Hunter. We, we talk often. Um, and, and he's a guy that, that treated me very well. Um, and with Vince, it, it's nothing personal. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not bitter towards him. I'm not, you know, I, I just, like I've said in other interviews, is he's got more wins than he's got losses. He's a billionaire. He runs a billion dollar company, but he made a mistake. It, you know, and it's as simple as that. That, that you know, people make mistakes. He, you know, I'm not the first person he's missed on. I won't be the last. Um, but him not giving me an opportunity or allowing me to be part of the show is one of the biggest mistakes I think he's ever made. Uh, and, and I think I think I'm proving myself right every time I show up on TV. Now you are a proven professional wrestler for sure. And you know what? Sometimes things just don't work out too, Eric. It's just for whatever reason. There's a lot of yep. there's a lot of people. There's a lot of uh, talent. And so many spots. But it's good to see things are working out. Your Impact Wrestling and your new Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. And Eric, you've done some things, like I said, outside of wrestling. What were those projects you did? Off the Hook, Extreme Challenge on Animal Planet. Very cool. I've seen some of those episodes. No Limits on Animal Planet too. That one I'm not too familiar with. But Eric, what was it like working on different shows and getting in there, getting in the water, fishing, and also extreme challenges and other things like that? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was, it was just such an amazing experience. It was something that kind of happened, you know, it just kind of uh, over time, uh, meeting this person and then that person talked to this person. They reached out and asked me if I was interested in hosting. And I ended up getting cast as the host of this, this extreme fishing show. And it just took on a life of itself, man. It, 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 it started to air, and we were still shooting that season. We were, still, we were finishing season one when it started to air, and the numbers were, were very big for, for Animal Planet. The numbers were really, really good, and uh, it did very, very good for two seasons. Um, I met a bunch of amazing people, had a bunch of life-altering experiences. Like, I've, I've done things that people pursue and dream of in the fishing world, you know, I've got, you know, I can swap fishing stories with anybody, uh, but the big thing for me was, was seeing another side of television. You know, it's something that I've always wanted to do. Um, you know, being in a movie, acting, and, and stuff like that is something that I, I'm still working on, something I'm still very interested in. I'm focused on wrestling. That's my first focus. Even when I got the, the fishing show, that was my focus. Um, they asked me if I was interested, and I said yes. They're calling me every day and saying, okay, here's the update. And I said, look, like, I've got a full-time job, and I'm concentrating on this. If you want me to host the show, that would be great. If not, cool, good luck with whatever you decide. And, and I ended up getting the job uh, and, and, and working with Discovery for three years. I learned a ton. I experienced a ton. Uh, it, it was life-changing, and it's something that you know, I would love to do again. I'm always kind of working on other stuff. So um, I, I'm a, a very experiential person. I want to experience everything. I think my wrestling career shows that. Like I've kind of experienced the cards from every angle. You know, I was wrestling women before wrestling women was cool. So it's, uh, you know, it, I, I want to experience everything in life, and that was a, a huge experience for me and something that I will remember forever. Oh, maybe UI gave us a little spoiler. Maybe we'll see the Impact Wrestling title up for grabs. Eric Young against one of the knockouts. Who knows? <laughs> Wrestling's a crazy world, man. You never know. It's a crazy world. That's why I'm part of it. Hey, Eric, we're going to wrap this up. We're coming down on the time. I want to ask you also, I know pro wrestling's your number one, but I also want to ask you about 
the show off the hook extreme catches about this do you still fish and do you have a favorite moment from that show a favorite catch um i i, I don't i don't fish often it's uh it's actually a funny story it, they didn't ask me if i do anything about fishing um they actually didn't even ask me if i do how to swim um so that was a, a very interesting experience um you know uh it, it was a very cool television show the outdoors and stuff always been a part of my life um but being you know a full-time wrestler and stuff like that is it's it's time consuming you know so i don't have a lot of time to do other stuff um i would love saltwater fishing is my favorite um anytime i get a chance to do it again i will um but i, but I haven't fished since the show to be honest to be completely transparent um but yeah it's something that i, I would love to do for sure and Eric, you have such a great voice. Did you ever think of doing any voiceover work, or have you done any voiceover work? Yeah, I, uh, I sent in some additions. I, I, I got close in a couple things. I almost did a, a uh, I got like a couple callbacks for a Gatorade commercial. Um, I got a couple callbacks for the Captain America cartoon, and I was uh, being cast as the Winter Soldier. So it's definitely something that I'm interested in. Um, the problem is now is like everybody that has a laptop can, can audition for, for speaking parts. So it's a, it's a very saturated market. Um, it, it's time consuming. You've got to be looking online and, and doing additions every single day. Um, but it is something that I would love to do. Um, I mean, if you hear my voice, you know it's me. There's no mistake. You know, <laughs> there's, it's, a, it's, it's unique. I, I'm not much of a singer anymore, but it's, a, it's definitely a unique sound. No, oh, singing. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, let, let's get this going. I'll do a little rapid fire for you so we can get you out of here and all. Oh, first of all, I got to say with the voice, you're at the top of your game. You got the great voice. You are the Wolfman Jack of professional wrestling. I'm putting it out there, EY. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> and hey, you were one of the trainers you had was Waldo Von Eric, correct? Correct. Okay. I just I wanted to ask this part. It's a little, little crazy, but I thought I'd throw it at you anyway. You have a connection with the name Fritz, and you were trained by Waldo Von Erich. I'm wondering, was there ever a time where you thought about a name change, or they thought about a name for you, Fritz Von Erich the second? Yeah, I mean, I definitely thought about it early on. Um, it just kind of, uh, I ended up with Eric Young. Um, then when I was hired by TNA, uh, we had discussed about maybe switching it to something else. But I had, had built up a, a pretty good size independent following at that point. Um, you know, was being talked about in PWI and stuff like that as Eric Young. So the brand just kind of grew into its own thing. And uh, so I'm stuck with Eric Young, is basically what I'm saying. I'm Eric Young now till forever. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I didn't even know that story part of it. I was just <laughs> bringing that up and all like that. But that's cool. All right, Eric Young, listen, hey. Congratulations, new Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, Eric Young, EY. You can catch him and all the talent. Great talent, great roster, great show. On Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Access TV. You got Josh Matthews and Madison Rain calling the action. What a pair these two make. I'm telling you, there's some chemistry there, EY, right? Yeah, those two, those two have a future together, maybe. <laughs> yes. All right, EY, congrats again. Thank you so much. Bound for glory, October 24th, everybody. Appreciate it, man.